thriving town at the heart of a hard-working community, Whitney now boasts shops, homes and leisure facilities of the highest standard. Marriott's walk is a triumph completed in the teeth of a savage recession, bringing cinema, shops and homes to a delighted public. Absolutely Fantastic. brilliant. Fantastic really for Whitney. Whitney. M&S, I think, is something that we've always travelled for, either to Cheltenham or Oxford, and uh, to be here with free parking, it's a big bonus. <laughs> Especially for the cinema, for the kids, because, you know, otherwise we've got to travel to Oxford, Banbury, all out of town, but now, no, it's nice, keeps everything in town, brilliant. Very, very excited. You can't wait, can you, girls? Mm. No. It's spacious, isn't well, it? it's spacious, and it's yeah. also, it's and good it's got for elderly people, shops, because it? There's, there's no road we can all, we can walk, or we can yeah. no worry about traffic. Our wonderful cinema, food places, it's got everything now. Really good. We're well impressed. What than I, I expected. Quite exciting, actually, especially in that shop. I want to get in there. Through history, Whitney was a weaving town famous for its blankets. That connection with the past lives on. The land which bears their name was originally gifted to the town football club by the Marriott blanket-making family. It's a great honour. Um, especially since the Marriott family have been involved with Whitney since 1600, the late 1600s, when we started making the first blankets there. We were kicked out of Flanders um, after the St. Bartholomew's, Bartholomew's Day Massacre in 1572 or something, and came settling Whitney and started making blankets. And there's been a, a connection with Marriott's and Whitney ever since. Set in one of the most beautiful areas of England, Whitney has a proud commercial heritage based on family-run businesses. While many town centres have suffered and declined over the last 30 years, Whitney still draws in healthy shopping crowds. Existing traders are delighted with their new neighbours. I think it's fantastic news for everybody uh, because I know that at the moment people will go to either Swindon or Oxford uh, and with um, state-of-the-art cinema, I mean, obviously they're going to stay in Whitney, hopefully spend a little bit more money. I think it can only be good for the business. There's going to be more people coming into Whitney. Why would you go to Oxford or Cheltenham and pay car parking fees? I think people will come to, to, to Whitney. Maybe first time viewers, you know, first time visitors. And that's got to be good for Whitney and good for the traders. It just shows the strength of the town, really. I think it's quite um, um, a good area to trade in. And I think um, these names that are coming into the town uh, are names that are kind of, if you looked at um, uh, a list of, of names that you would want in the town, then they'll, they'll be high on everybody's list, I would have thought. So I think it'll make it a really good town to come and, and spend a day in. Top brand stores and a five screen cinema set on an eight acre site with possibly Europe's largest free multi story car park, 140 new homes, and a new public open space and children's play area. Marriott's Walk is the culmination of many dreams, not least those of West Oxfordshire District Council. Whitney's expanded greatly over the last 25 years and facilities for the town and its people have not really kept pace and this presented us with a real opportunity to bring those facilities up to date and we consulted widely on what the public wanted it was absolutely clear that they wanted um, a wider choice of shopping, uh, retail opportunities, of stores that Whitney didn't currently have, so that they would complement the existing traders in Whitney rather than compete with them. And we think we're achieving that. Um, a five-screen cinema, which those under 50 overwhelmingly answered to us and said they would like to see that. We've got restaurants. We've got an open space of almost an acre, including a children's playground. And, of course, they said we needed additional car parking um, to cater for what we hope will be an increased footfall of shoppers coming to Whitney. 
Well, it is great news for West Oxfordshire, and this is just what a market town like Whitney is just what it needs, because we want to keep people in our market towns and to be able to have the multi-screen cinema, uh, the best stores you can have to make Whitney a shopping destination, I think is great news for West Oxfordshire, great for Whitney, and shows that, yes, there's been a terrible recession, but, you know, we've got to come out of it. Whitney is a popular town, a growing town, and it's a nice place to go and shop, it's a nice place to take the kids, it's a nice family town. And so I think the developers thought this is a good opportunity, Whitney knew it was a good opportunity, and I'm glad it's been able to go ahead. Marriott's Walk is a team effort, the result of cooperation and collaboration on a huge scale. It was aimed to satisfy the gap in the shopping facilities in Whitney. Before we started, a high percentage of the people were going elsewhere to shop and there was a clear need for larger shops and the cinema. And we think we've provided those and more, really. Although we're quite a large company, this is a, still a very big project for us and a very exciting one. And to be able to do a scheme in a town of the quality of this and, we think, one that fits in so well is great. Untold hours of work have gone into making this development a place to admire. Weaving is the, the real core to this town's development, so uh, its subject is really sort of the change from cottage industries to mechanisation and then on into this new era where we have a brand new city centre which is depicted in the picture somewhere. Yes, yeah, so I would like to come back maybe in about five years and sort of be a bit of a fly on the wall and see how it, how it had grown with the shops and uh, people walking across it and it just become part of the integral lifestyle of everybody here. Entertainment destination, glamorous shopping centre. For years to come, for many people, Marriott's Walk will first and foremost be home. And you get a choice of cupboards as well. Nice, nice and airy yeah. and just good opportunity really, isn't it? You can't really not say yes. Definitely. It is a nice place. Nice and spacious as well. Especially. We've both been brought up here, haven't we? Yeah. It's just, no, there were, this is such an opportunity, no one can not say no really to come here. 590 free parking spaces, 115,000 square feet of retail and leisure space, 300 new jobs. No wonder the numbers have stacked up invitingly for some of the biggest names on Britain's high streets. It's a lovely development, it's very sympathetic to the local area. I feel the way it's been built, the way that everything integrates together, it looks very sympathetic. It's a, a nice development, I think it will enhance the town, it will drive footfall into the town, it will bring money into the town and I think everybody will benefit from it. I've bought an apartment just over the other side there, so not far to go home after work. So yes, it's um, it'd be nice to be part of the community as well, actually. It's tremendously exciting. We're all absolutely delighted to be in Whitney. Um, we've got a fantastic team of people here. Uh, we've about 118 people actually we've got working for us, and every single one of them are really excited to get this shop open and to let the customers and the people of Whitney experience our shop. Whitney's uh, sort of unique in, in that it's really picturesque. Um, a lot of our developments, uh, cinema developments, are out of town, a little bit industrial perhaps, uh, just by the nature of where they are, but uh, to have something in a, in a location this, this beautiful is, is really nice. Four miles of underground steel pilings anchor Marriott's walk in the Oxfordshire soil. The construction holds 1,700 tonnes of concrete, a new chapter begins in a story of a thriving town at the heart of a hard-working community.